What's up everyone? I'm Steven Croft, the Dabbling Developer, and we're just going to do a quick tutorial on how to create images that are the perfect size for an image slider on a website. Now I have Photoshop open here and that's the tool that I'm primarily going to use. Now the same idea and the same logic can be applied to a um, free photo editor like Pixlr or GIMP. So pay attention more to the content, less about how exactly I use the tool. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a new project and it's going to be slider images. That sounds like a good name. Now the width and the height matter. We want the width to be about 1960 because a um, desktop is 1920 by 1080. So 1960, probably a little too big. So let's go ahead and change that to 1920. That is the width of our screen here and the height we're going to leave at 450. Now I might adjust this a little bit as we get the pictures loaded in here, but for the most part, 1920, 450, go ahead and use those for now. But if you already have your slider built using JavaScript and CSS, get an idea of what the size of the slider you already have made. If you have it fit to your page, a perfect height, go with that height. Right now I'm just designing the images. I haven't built my slider yet. I just want to make sure all the images are exactly the same size. So 1920 by 450 sounds good to me. Let's hit okay and we're presented with this. Now this is our background and it is our canvas. So this is where our images are going to go. So I went ahead and found some images ahead of time and I'm just gonna drag them in one by one here. So I have this monitor image that is obviously not the right size. I also have this image here, again, not even close to the right size. Now I found all of these on Pixabay. Now Pixabay has a great resource to find free images, but they're not exactly the correct size. They're all square and we need them to be really wide horizontally. So that's this is when the editing is gonna come into hand. So on the right hand side, you can see the three layers that I have, excuse me, four, because I also have the background here. And you can, they, the images sit here and they're all stacked on top of each other. But if I unclick the eye, it hides them. So now I'm gonna do some image manipulation to get them to fit this size. Now I'm not just gonna grab the, the side here and pull it there, it warps the image and it just doesn't look good. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna drag the corner of it. This keeps the proportions the same, but allows it to fill out the screen. And as I drag it more and more until it fills the screen, you can see you can only see the center of my image. Now we did pick square images, which isn't the best choice we would if we had some forethought, we'd look for header images, images that, are, images that are already scaled in a manner that we like. But if we go ahead and manipulate this a little bit, we can get the main message of the picture to show on the screen. And that's the computers here. We're not gonna get this, the skylight and the backdrop and all of that going on, but we can get the main essence of the photo, which are these computers up into our slider image here. So as we can see, we have the slider image pretty much done. Now I might want to manipulate it a little bit just to kind of get rid of the how it cut off the tops of the screens, maybe change um, how far it shows, like show more of the bottom, maybe show more of the top, and just show like that. Oh, that doesn't look bad. I like that a little bit better. And we're just going to change that for all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and Command S, save this. I'm going to save it just on my desktop for now. Okay, now it's not an image yet. We just have a Photoshop file. So I'm gonna go up top, I'm gonna to do file, export. I'm gonna export as PNG, quick export as PNG. This is going to export it as a PNG. I'm gonna just gonna go let slider images one. And this is going to allow us to grab the PNG and pop it into our website. Now the next thing I do is a kind of important. What I wanna do is I want to hide that image and show the next one. I don't want to show them all on top of each other because that's going to make that file size way too big to handle. And I'm going to, going to click into the layers and make sure it's selected. You can see the border pops on it. Again, hold down shift, drag the corners, resize it so that it fits the parameters, the canvas size that we've given it. And again, I probably could have picked better images, but you get the idea here. So now I have to make a decision. Do I want to leave the top and crop off the hand or show the hand and crop off the top of that code dripping down? I'm going to try to find a middle ground, probably about there, that I like. 
Now again, your images are gonna look better than mine. This is just a tutorial showing you how to get this done. And again, I'm going to save, I'm going to export as a PNG, call it slider images two to my desktop, and then I'm going to unclick the eye to hide that image, and I'm gonna show the next one. This one should be a little easier to manipulate. Again, hold down shift, drag the corners until it fills out our canvas here. And then I'm going to position it to where I like it. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to hit the check to okay that position, save, and again, file, export, quick export as PNG. It's gonna be slider images three. And now I have three slides manipulated and saved. And that's going to create decent size, actually perfectly sized photos to use in our slider. Now, the ideal thing is to take the photos in this size, to find pictures that are this size. But if you can't find them, you can always manipulate them and pick the highlight of the picture to be the slider. All right, hope everybody enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.